Hey gang, Mark Zona with you here. And you know, one of the things that uh, we do a lot of taping a Zona show is we travel all over the country, hundreds and hundreds of miles. And it's interesting, one of the questions I get uh, from a lot of new boat buyers is, do I need a transom saver? Yes, because if you say transom saver, um, what it's gonna do, a transom saver, uh, not only protects your motor, but it also protects the back of your boat, your transom, the back of your boat. And this right here is just a standard transom sta saver. This is gonna go into the roller on my trailer. There's a bunch of different ones on the market. All you're going to do is raise your motor, put that onto the roller, and just seat the motor down into the transom saver. And then I'm gonna take this bungee cord, put it around the lower unit into that little hole right there. And really inevitably, one of the reasons I use a transom saver is look, the best way to put it, if I go to big cities or I'm on back road somewhere and there's just giant potholes and I don't have a transom saver, that is just constant wear and tear. I never want to rely on the trim and tilt of my motor, okay? I don't, that, that is, that's my baby. Um, all I want to rely on is that support of that transom saver to where it's not bouncing my motor or wearing on my transom. So number one, yes, you need a transom saver. You need to kind of find the one that's good for you. Make sure when it sits down, it's elevated like this right here. It'll take great care of your outboard and your transom. It's a transom saver. 